Just as I bring Bay out to play, it starts snowing again. So I'm exiting Walmart from a grocery trip and I'd forgotten my wallet. And as I stopped to let the uh, person watching the self checkout I'll know that I'd be right back because I'd forgotten my wallet, this nice lady stopped and offered to pay for all of my groceries. I told her, no thank you, I'm not a person in need, please save her money for someone who is, but it made me feel so good to know that such people still exist in the world. It's pretty awesome if you ask me. Careful coming down these stairs, Ray. Good morning. It is snowing. Here we're staying at Walmart in Mitchell, South Dakota. <laughs> it's snow! It's snow! It's a better driver than me. But, whatever. Pray for us. In all seriousness, this is the first time we've driven our rig in the snow when I'm frightened. It's not I'll survive. that much snow on the actual road. That's good. Right. That's good. I'm from the south. This is way more snow than we ever see. Take the next right onto 255th Street. So we're at the dog park in Mitchell, South Dakota. Dogs really needed a chance to run and it just happened to be snowing this morning. So. Hello! <laughs> oh, our dogs are really great with other dogs. Um, it's just with COVID, it's probably best if our dogs aren't really touching each other right now. Because they, you're touching your dog, and then they're touching our dog, and then we touch our dog, and then vice versa. So, Yeah, and that's what our dogs really needed right now, is just to get out and run. Another snowball, Ray. <laughs> Bay's, Bay's sitting there just waiting and waiting. She's ready for that snowball. <laughs> no, I just wanted to get it. <laughs> We 
we are in Plankenton, South Dakota. We're at an RV park. We woke up this morning and isn't it just gorgeous out here? I just finished walk walking the dogs. All they wanted to do was just play in the snow. Good morning, South Dakota. Angel. A dog angel. I already chopped all the ice out of here so that it doesn't end up with a big puddle of water down here. Last time I did a let it just puddle here and I used towels to clean up the water, but I figured why not do it a lot easier where I don't have a bunch of towels getting wet that I have to worry about drying and then creating more moisture in the air in here. So instead the ice was able to go down the sink. And then um so the reason is is this has been all filled with a lot of ice, so we need to do a good defrost to clean that all out. So I moved all of our refrigerated items into the outdoor kitchen fridge, and all of our freezer items are put in the freezer back there. All right, so freezer and the fridge got their full defrost and their cleanup, and this, well, I haven't refilled the stuff from the other freezer back in here, but that's okay. I can do that tomorrow. Not as urgent. Really wanted to have the stuff from the fridge though in here so we didn't have to go into the outdoor kitchen to get the food. So, but just so you can get an idea of the difference. I got all my food. So, all nice and cleaned out, all fully defrosted. And you can see I put my little thing on the lowest I could possibly put it. So let's see how that goes. And how long this will last. Just a warm spring day in South Dakota. You're videoing? Yeah. What is it? What's, what you see? What's this? What doing, huh? What you doing? Okay. She's like, I'm down. I'm done. I'm done.
next week on The Local Pond. Let's take a look at the top of this. Right here. See these cracks? That's the sealant coming apart from age. In case you're wondering, no, this, that's not the site where we were. Last night, there was a bunch of partiers here. Built a fire, stayed till about 3 in the morning, and when we got up, there's just a nasty mess everywhere around where they have their fire built. If you Bottles have any questions, ground, comments, or requests, please leave them Hands below. Everywhere, just trash thrown everywhere. This is the third bag she's picked up. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.